What should you do about your house if you're thinking about getting divorced? Should you sell it? Should you keep it? Should you give it to your ex? Or should you just hang on to it and rent it out and try to divide up the proceeds of the rental? My name is Laura Hurd, and I have been helping people get through divorce in San Antonio, Texas since 1987. And I've seen people come up with all kinds of different solutions. I've seen a lot of times people agree that they're gonna wait until their youngest child turns 18 one of them is going to continue to live in the house, but they're going to both contribute to the mortgage. And then the plan is that when the youngest turns 18, they'll sell the house and divide the proceeds. But so many things can go wrong in the meantime. I've seen that that works okay for a little while until one of you loses your job or until one of you decides to remarry and the new spouse doesn't agree with that plan or until there's some major repairs needed on the house. And then all of a sudden the person who's been living there for the last 10 years feels like it should just be their house. So a lot of times these couples end up back in court fighting over what happens to the house 10 or 15 years after they got divorced. It would be much better to just get this resolved at the time of divorce. And another thing I've seen happen is one spouse agrees to take the house and the mortgage, not thinking about the fact that they can't afford to pay that mortgage on their own. I know it's difficult and overwhelming thinking about living on one income instead of two, but if you can't afford the mortgage, don't take the house and the mortgage and then let it go into foreclosure. We can do something else differently. We can have one spouse buy the other one out over time. We could have somebody get a home equity loan with cash out refinance and get cash out that way. There are a lot of different solutions to the problem of what to do with the house that will not entail you continuing to make payments on that house that you no longer live in after the divorce.